Uh, right, one of the things that I was disappointed in when it, I mean, not a deal breaker, but um, was that the uh, the Ionic Five came with USB ports instead of USB C. So what I did was I swapped them out for these. Uh, here they are, working. Everything's been put together. Works well. Um, the only thing I might do is switch these out. I'm trying to look for one that matches this color. I'd rather have these match, but again, it's just small, small issue. Uh, watch the rest of the video if you're interested on how I did it. It's gonna be a quick video on how to change your uh, USB to a USB-C or um, a you or a quick charge 3.0 uh, I already began to take apart the car and then I was like oh maybe I should make a video of this in case anybody else is interested uh, one of the things I was disappointed about was that the Ionic came with USB A's and so I wanted to either make it a quick charge or a USB C uh, the reason why I chose this one is because you can turn off and on the light and I didn't want to have to put a cover over it so that's why I chose this kind. Choose any kind you want. Uh, you can basically get these at Amazon. Uh, so first thing you want to do is you want to, there's a uh, rubber cup holder or uh, liner over here that you want to remove. And then there's two screws right over there. And then you want to take, basically take a um, pry tool and pop off this piece right over here. And then these will be exposed. Uh, Next, if you can, try to take out these plugs right over here. Uh, there's a, for the middle one, there's a, uh, a pin or a, 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 a plastic clip that you have to push down from the bottom. So it goes this way. Okay. Uh, another difficult part I had to do was to remove this faceplate over here. Um, so there's these clips over here that you want to push down and try to pop out and then you want to move over to the top ones and then there's these pins right over here and then there's another two on the other sides that you want to push down and then pop out and then once you have these popped out the bottom ones uh, or it'll be easy to just fold down and then pop the whole thing out okay so after you take it out what you're going to see is you go you're going to go ahead and see that there's four clips also that's holding down the USB. There are these plastic ones. So I just kept taking, this is probably the most difficult part. I kept taking the, this little plastic pry tool. I guess you could take a flat head also and pop these out. All right, so the new ones fit in nice and perfectly. You just pop, once you have these popped out, okay, it fits nice and snug. You wanna make sure that it is uh, nice and straight. And, and then the, the, they come with these rings over here that you just put behind it to help hold it in place. So you just turn these and then you do the same thing for the other side to lock it in place. So the next thing to do is find out which wires have the power and uh, I'll just go ahead and tee it off and then put these new ones in. So there are the two wires that uh, I basically teed off on. Um, there's some videos on how to do this. So uh, we're gonna just show it. And plus, it's only me, and I didn't want the camera to be too shaky. But those are the two wires that I used. Okay, if you've been following along, the one that's connected to the red, the red wire that was on the harness, actually went to the negative and the one that was on the blue and pink one went to the positive all right here's everything put back together um so everything looks back to normal uh luckily i didn't break anything um the only thing i ended up doing was i swapped out the uh, the wires, the red and the and, and the black wires that were attached to this, only because of the fuse. There was a fuse that was on the positive, so I wanted to make sure that uh, that red was on positive instead of uh, negative. All right. Hope you like my video. Thank you.